Hello there and you're very welcome to the Sunday game on the most historic day in Ireland's sporting calendar, All-Ireland Hurling Finals Day. We had Dublin and Tipperary in the minor final and in the senior final, Galway versus Kilkenny. It exceeded our expectations and our expectations were already pretty high. Well, joining me to reflect on the day's action, and there was plenty of it. I'm delighted to welcome Cyril Farrell, Don O'Grady, and Eddie Brennan. Thanks for joining us, lads. And we'll be chatting shortly. But first, to the action. Kilkenny seeking their 34th All-Ireland title and Galway their fifth. The whole country was watching on a day to savour. Galway's first All-Ireland final appearance in seven years, the selectors make one change from the team which beat Cork in the semi-final. Fit again, Cyril Donnellan returns to wing forward with Conor Cooney, the one to make way. It's a second final for Tony O'Gregan and David Collins, while it's a third for Damian Hayes. He was a sub against Tipperary in 2001. Kilkenny are starting with 11 of the starting team from this year's Leinster final. JJ Delaney, Kieran Joyce and Michael Fennelly missed that heavy beating by Galway, while Aidan Fogarty, number 15 today, came on as a first-half sub in July. The only change from the semi-final win over Tipperary is the recall of Richie Hogan to midfield in place of the injured Michael Rice. Was that out over the line? It was by David Burke. And uh, David Burke can plead his case here with the uh, linesman, David Kerwin, the linesman on this near side. Here he is, just stepped out and over. Tom Hellebert there, one of the selectors in the background. Line ball to Kilkenny, awaiting the opening score of this match. Almost four minutes gone. Paul Murphy. Kilkenny's today seeking a 40, 34th All-Ireland title. Held on there by Henry Shefflin, and he was being fouled. Virgil Moore got him. Yeah, great catch there by Henry Shefflin. And this is something that match up. Henry Shefflin is probably three, four inches taller than Virgil Moore. And you can see him there, great catch. And Virgil just got tangled up with him. So it's going to be Henry Shefflin who will take this one. Henry with uh, 27 goals, 459 points in a wonderful career. And that's a, a very positive start for him. And Kilkenny are away and leading in this match, four and a half minutes are gone. Puck out by James Skehill. That's a huge one up towards Cyril Donnelly. Breaking it down, but there's nobody into it immediately. Goal trying to work hard, trying to get the possession. Finally winning it. Joe Canning back there. Struck this time by Andy Smith and over the bar. Big, huge cheer. There's an enormous crowd from Galway at this final. 
and the teams are level a point apiece with eight minutes gone. Yeah, and that's a huge score. You know, it's taken eight minutes, and Andy Smith, not one of the more noted men for scoring for Galway, took on the responsibility there and a super score off his right hand side. Interesting that Damien Hayes has moved into the inside forward line just to try and help James Regan here, trying to get it up onto his stick, pursued by Brian Hogan. It's Regan off as far as Canning, looking for latitude. He's made a lot of ground. He's scored a wonderful goal. How did he do that? It's brought the uh, stadium to life. Ten minutes are gone. And Joe Canning has hit in his 16th ever championship goal. And Joe what a goal, a great run by James Regan. But look at this after with Joe Canning. Brilliant touch, great vision, and buried in the back of the net. What a goal, an absolute brilliant goal. And, you know, a great player on a big day. And that's really now, that's the start of goal we wanted. What a goal. And that goal should settle Galway. Up as far as Cyril Donnellan here. Two players going for it. Damien Hayes has it. That's under hit. Straight to Herity. About to be challenged here by Niall Burke. Stands his ground. Gets it out as far as Brian Hogan. Into the middle of the field. Intended there for Richie Hogan. But it's cut out instead by Joe Canning. He moved from full forward into midfield. And he's got another one. A score. A point by Joe Canning. A goal and a point now. As Galway lead by 1-2 to a point. Yeah, early stages, Jerry, you know, missed, missed clearance there by Brian Hogan and Joe Canning just after scoring the goal, just drifted back out the field. Which is, I think that was marginal, I think that could have been wide, looking at the replay. Well, they got away with it, and Kilkenny now trying to assert themselves again here. TJ Reid, their only score so far has come from a free by Henry Shefflin. Back for Richie Power, back now as far as the other Richie, Richie Hogan. And Richie Hogan has sent it flying away to the right-hand side, and another one has gone wide. And the huge Galway follower here in Croke Park this afternoon really enjoying this. And they've certainly enjoyed that goal there after 10 minutes of play by the great Joe Canning. Only yeah. 23 years of age. Just makes it look so easy. You know, a brilliant finish into the and the run he made. You can see there the goal was subs getting in behind the run. Galway will be delighted that they're creating that space now already around the field. There's a great sense of togetherness among the uh, Galway squad. This is good, this is TJ Reid. Left it behind there, but the referee's whistle has gone for a drag down, and it's going to be a free in for Kilkenny, and a free from the 20 metre line. Take a look at this again. Yeah, great catch by TJ Reid. I think, you know, he was, he was definitely fouled there, but I think the referee's letting him go, and he lost possession, and he blew the whistle maybe a little bit late, but this is the danger, you know, Kilkenny are very, very strong in the air in there, and a good catch by TJ Reid. Well, standing over this one is Henry Shefflin, his team uh, 1 2 to a point down. Would he possibly? Or will he be I don't think so. I think, with a point? I think they need the point at this stage just to keep them in it. He's gone for it. He was having a go. And he didn't shape like he was going to go for the cut. He caught me by surprise up here. Henry, with 27 championship goals to his credit already, was looking for another one here. And in the end, it was Fergal Moore who got his stick down to it, was anticipating, but he just might have tried it. Here's Kevin Hines, hasn't been under too much pressure so far. Straight to Jackie Turrell, took it down in commanding fashion. Regan's after him. Hand pass slipped inside here as far as Aidan Fogarty, haven't seen much of him so far. Ashley out as far as Richie Hogan. Here's a chance of a score from the angle. Richie Hogan puts it over the bar. And that'll do Kilkenny a lot of good. It's their first point to come from open play, and it's taking nearly 17 and a half minutes. Yeah, it was a very good score. If you look here, when Aidan Forward got the ball, there was a wall of four or five Galway men in front of him, but he slipped it out to Richie Hogan and smart finishing over the bar, and Kenny really needed that score. From this puck out. Again, it's caught superbly by Niall Burke. What a start to the matches after making. Brilliant play by Niall Burke, and he fires it over. And it's now 1-5 to two points. It's a dream start for the tribesmen, the outsiders in the minds of so many people. What a catch, what a finish. I mean, Brian Cody did counsel against anybody saying that Kilkenny were going to blow Galway out of the water, as they say nowadays. And he's proved quite correct. Galway are up for this, and they are standing shoulder to shoulder with Kilkenny. They're not going to be overawed. Reid has done well here. 45 metres out, swinging around. And that's a beautiful score by TJ Reid to settle Kilkenny and put them right back into the contest again. Five points the margin, TJ Reid's first. Yeah, and Kilkenny hanging in there, but TJ Reid is brilliant at that, a great catch, and turned back onto his left side and over the bar, great score. And look at the eagerness with which Andy Smith went after that to get there ahead of Michael Fennelly, who was expected to exert a big physical influence in midfield, and it hasn't materialised so far. 
but has materialised it's a goal we have setting up chances Smith again this time it's Niall Donoghue and Donoghue hits a beauty first ever time to score in the championship 21 year old Niall Donoghue from Kilbacon T gets his first point and makes it 1-7 to 3 points and the composure there for a young player on the ball maybe thought he was going to be hooked the first time took it back on the stick and then straight over the bar Tommy Welch sends it in once again towards Aidan Fogarty hasn't really got on the ball very much so far instead it's been the very efficient Galway defence this time David Collins seems to have taken too many steps Marshall of ball free in for Kilkenny they'll take anything that is going and Henry Shefflin will come and take the resultant free yeah he did take too many steps you know they took a few going yeah. back and then turned coming out you know they're seven times behind this is a huge free now and he's scored a lot in his time but this is vital and that one is uh, inside the right hand upright and a second pointed free by Henry Shefflin I can only help I can't help feeling really Michael but the, the last two Galway nine weeks ago has deeply affected these Kilkenny players they're not as confident as they usually are. taken beautifully here this time it's Cyril Donnellan hand pass beautifully forward for Andy Smith Smith raiding, Smith firing, stopped on the line somehow by David Herity, couldn't quite get it over, goalkeeper needs to get the ball away, being challenged there by David Burke, frantic challenge, scrambled away somehow, Herity still waiting for a whistle to come, and a whistle finally does come. Yeah, the free picked the ball off the ground there, he lost possession, great tackling by David Burke. If you just watch it here, going out along here, first of all Andy Smith, you know, I think Jackie Turley went the wrong side, maybe should try to hook him, but David Hurley did very well and just watch him here and he's gone out long. David Burke just shattered him all the way out here. But now it's Galway and it's uh, Joe Canning once again from a very, very difficult angle. He's faced some very difficult angles in this match with his freeze so far. Now can he measure this one and put it inside the right hand upright? He's got it right and that's an important score now after Kilkenny's run of points from freeze. That will settle things down for Galway as we head towards half-time. Referee looks at his watch and blows for half time. It's half time in the 2012 All Ireland Hurling final. And Joe Canning, man of the match so far, with a goal and six points. His goal coming after 10 minutes. Kilkenny have been sluggish. We've seen Owen Larkin get one point. But towards the end there, we saw Henry.